So this video is going to be a little bit different from its original purpose. You see, I woke up grumpy one morning and after flailing around on my computer like a toddler, I accidentally deleted all the footage of my first, oh, 30 hours of playing. As a result, this one's not going to be me going in on all the interesting things that I enjoyed about the game. It's going to be more of a shotgun style suffering montage of my final crawl towards the life is suffering achievement and all the many reasons why you shouldn't try this at home. I think Mortal Shell belongs into a neat little subgenre I like to call postmodern souls-like, meaning it has all the mechanics and atmosphere to cement it into the standard genre with its own tricks and design choices to make it sort of its own thing, namely the front and center hardened and shell mechanics which serve to make you, depending on who you are, either even more ridiculously aggressive, like myself, or the ultimate turtle who's finally achieved the pinnacle defensive tactic of literally turning into a statue when someone looks at you. If I'm being totally honest though, I think the thing I had the most fun with was the built-in cinematic camera you can access at any time. I mean, just look at that, it's free b-roll. <laughs> Another caveat of the postmodern Souls-like genre is that we now live in a world where Souls games have been unleashed upon us for 10 plus years now. And alongside that and many newer Souls-like games, Mortal Shell is absolutely built with this in mind. There's some immediate and obvious evidence of this. You see, there's an enemy in the game called a Noct- Noctis- These things. They start spawning after you beat the first temple in the game and the area fills with fog. I mean a lot. And their gimmick, you see, is that you'll be running past all the spooky new enemies. As you do. Your glow stick will try to warn you of your impending doom. And then, without fail, strategically timed to your running, these faceless crotch goblins will drop on your head and rock your shit. I'm not salty. I respect it. You see, it's one thing to design a game against player characters. Anybody can do that. It's another thing entirely to ascend, to go beyond that and design your game distinctly with the thought process of, gee, how would this dumbass Souls fan be trying to get out of his prescription strength ass beating? Well, that's just what I asked for. That's not just Machiavellian, that's Miyazaki. <laughs> It's clever as shit, and there's plenty of other mechanics like this in the game I encourage you to find yourself. With that being said, you finish the base game, and you definitely start to think, Man, that was short, and kind of easy once I got the hang of it. What gives? Now this is what I like about Mortal Shell. This is a debut early access indie game from a developer that was formed in 2017 that seems to spec pretty hard into graphic design and animation. It's not a bad thing. The game's fantastic and it doesn't try to overextend itself and it does what it does well, in my opinion. This game feels like a proof of concept from the developer in the same vein as Borderlands 1. Like, if they just had more resources and staff on hand for the next one, they could really make something insane. And I feel like this is proven by the recently released DLC, The Ver-
shit. Oh shit, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. Oh fuck. Fuck. Hey, come down here. I'm not done with you. Oh, ho, 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 there ain't no I and we, baby. Pleasure to meet you, Bolt Hunter. I am Sir Hammerlock.
Wait, 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 you sit on your ass and do nothing all game while I run through every zip code in the country getting you these godly gallbladders just to make you smile, by the way. And you're mad you don't get picked to be god? You're a turkey. What exactly was your plan? You sent me off to kill every known god in existence. Rip out their magic spleens for you. And then, and then after receiving prophetic visions that I'm guaranteed to win this fight, you still want to fight me? Okay. First time. So, 
This is how it feels to be chosen to reign above the rabble. Pitiful maggots. Bowing and scraping before their gods. Their lives unraveling one thread at a time into a pile of utter meaninglessness. Fate favors those who act. Be it in their own self-interest. God almighty, this editing process is sucking the soul out of me, so I'm gonna keep this quick. Now, if you like anything you've seen so far, I recommend you give The Virtuous Cycle a shot. It's Mortal Shell's first DLC, and it adds a new roguelike mode that adds a ton of new content, new weapon, new shell, and really expands on the lore, like, way more than the original game for some reason. Anyways, it was a really good time, I got a couple hours in on it, and, uh... This ain't sponsored, but this game has been one of the best I've played in a while, and I'd love to see Cold Symmetry do more with it in the future. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta find the true ending of this game. What do you say? Best friends forever? Come on, then. Take a seat and have a drink. We can watch life pass on by.